Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today's tutorial is just going to be a really simple wing liner tutorial. I swear to you, wing liner is probably the number one question that I get from my family and friends. Like, how do you do that? It looks so hard, but I promise you guys, it really isn't. It just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of practice and you'll be able to do it in no time. And this video, so go ahead and continue watching if you want to see how I get my wing liner and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys. All right, so all you're gonna need for this tutorial is an angled liner brush and any gel liner of your choice. Mine is from Clinique, it's the Brush On Cream Liner. It's my favorite. So the first thing you wanna do is create a line at the end of your upper lash line that extends towards the tail of your brow. And you wanna use really short strokes and not a lot of product because it makes it a lot easier in case you make a mistake. So now we're just going to take our brush and position it at the end of that line we just created and then drag it towards the center of our lash line. And now we're just going to fill in all the little gaps that we made in that triangular shape that we just created and you want to make sure you get super close to your lash line and fill in the gaps that you might not even see. Now we're just gonna start at the inner corner of our eye and extend a thin line towards that shape we just created. And we wanna fill it in, like I said, really close to your lash line. Don't worry about the thickness of the line right now. We can always make it thicker as we smooth it over, which we are doing right now. As we seamlessly connect those two lines we made, you can always take your brush a little higher with each stroke to create the thickness that you're looking for. And as you can see, I like to go over it back and forth quite a few times just to get it exactly how I want it and to make sure that all the little holes and crevices are filled in so that the color is nice and black and really saturated. All right, and there's the final product, nice wing black liner. So one more step I like to do for added drama is to just take a liquid liner and sharpen the wing and also darken the color of the liner. This isn't a completely optional step, but it's something I like to do if I'm going out or if I just really want a dramatic cat eye for the day. All right, well this was my wing liner tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also leave me suggestions for other videos you'd like to see me do. Thanks again for watching, guys.